Ladies and gentlemen, that's my name on this car. You know whose name is usually on this car? Mike Skeen. I am at Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course for the Trans Am TA2 race this weekend. Part of the Speed Tour. Check out speedtour.com, .tv. I should probably know that, but I don't right now. But basically, Trans Am racing here with Peterson Racing three-dimensional services group. I'm going to be filling in for the Skeeninator who is racing at Watkins Glen this weekend. And I'm going to try to uh, do him proud and do this team proud by stepping into a car I've never driven before. I'm racing a series I've never raced in before. Put that baby on the front row. You know how that's going to be hard? Because Rafa Matos is my teammate along with that guy, Doug Peterson. You're on Cosmo Cam. Yay! Doug's Doug's not going to turn around to talk to you guys. Don't take it personally. Doug just, you know, Welcome he's going to point this guy, Chris Sharp. A lot of you probably don't know who this guy is. Thank God. And you're you're welcome for that. But uh, Welcome back, buddy. Thanks, brother. Chris and I go way back, like, to my very first sports car race ever in 2003, the 24 Hours of Daytona. That's right. The good old days. With Mr. Darius Gralla. You might recognize that name because his son, Kaz Gralla, has been racing in NASCAR and all kinds of other stuff. And uh, Oz Negri was in the car. And so was our good buddy, the late Josh Rem. That's right. We really Josh. Miss Josh. Well, we miss Josh. What a character. Holy cow. That guy was funny. And he it's was fun. a great driver. He was a good dude. Uh, so anyway, we go way back. So we're getting the band back together. Welcome back. Now, I'm going to try to keep this under six minutes for you guys, but uh, for those of you who may not remember, way back in the day, I used to race in Formula Mazda and the Pro Mazda Championship against Mr. Doug Peterson. Doug was an assassin behind the wheel. I'm going to put these back on. It's a little bright. There you go. I'm looking a little funky today. i to make sure I'm all right. Did you see that? I wasn't looking so hot. Anyway, look at this thing. We got some duct tape. We got some seat pads. I don't know if you guys know, but Skeen is a tall dude. Brother's big. So I think it's funny. I was thinking about this. I got some big shoes to fill. <laughs> Literally because Mike is so big, he's got big feet too. Right? I mean, the guy can step on the gas. So, you know, you gotta have good big feet. Anyway, here's our car. It's pretty, uh, pretty raw. No traction control, no ABS. It's a V8 that puts out, I don't know how much horsepower. I'm gonna go like 600-ish, I really have no idea. But the car is a blast to drive. I did a couple laps in it at uh, Kershaw, Carolina Motorsports Park last week just to kind of see what it was all about. We had a little bit of rain, so it wasn't it was a bit of an interrupted day. But this is gonna be awesome. And this field is super competitive. I have recently been following, coincidentally, been following the Trans Am series and seeing just how competitive the racing is. There's some great drivers here, some really good teams. Everybody knows their stuff, so I'm stepping in and I'm gonna wing it, if you know what I'm saying, and do, do what I do, see how it goes. So I'm number 89, and yeah, if you go to uh, SVRA, Sports Car and Vintage Racing Association, or just look up Speed Tour, look up Trans Am, you're gonna find it. Go Trans Ams over here. It's gonna be a great weekend. We got one practice session today at 4.45 p.m. We've been waiting all day to make this happen. Tomorrow. Six minutes. Oh, six minutes. That's four, I'm at four oh, oh, minutes. Here he is. Hey guys. Mr. Doug Peterson. I'm gonna suck in. You, you, got, you got a little something. You got a little something over there. Doug. I just had a donut. Has been the man for as long as I've known this guy. Still racing, still cranking, putting the heat on all these younger guys out there. It's gonna be fun. Thankful he's having me back. It's great to get the band back together. We are already having a blast. And we didn't even fire the cars up yet. Well, I mean, they did, they warmed them up, you know, but we haven't driven them yet. So, uh, anyway, that's it. Four and a half minutes. I'll talk to you later.